CFAL was uh, a very different experience from what I've experienced before. Um, the environment is totally convenient for studies and uh, it's very encouraging and very motivating to just go forward and do your best. So it was definitely some completely new experience for me, but I definitely enjoyed uh, studying here at CFL for my first and second PUC because it helped me discover something which I hadn't seen in myself. It helped me become my very best. Teachers here are very supportive. They help you, like, uh, if you ask whatever doubt, how silly it might be, they help you with that. I think my experience at CFL was a great one. I think the exposure I get in CFL and the freedom that I have here, I've I don't think I would have got it anywhere else. I think CFL had everything at once, so it is a great exposure. I uh, was happy to be at CFL. Yeah, the key differentiator that differentiates CFL from all other colleges is basically the peer group. The peer group here is just too fantastic that the uh, that each one in the classroom has a different set of expertise, different skills. That creative mindset the growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. The growth mindset is really what helps students to, you know, reach their aspirations and dreams. The freedom we have here and the stress on deliberate practice is what I don't find it anywhere else. And I think that is what makes CFL student have an edge over other students as competitors. CFL focuses on very advanced concepts, like uh, they go deep into the uh, topic and uh, give us a very profound insight on the underlying fundamentals which uh, govern the rules of physics, maths and etc. And we always learn what's more than uh, expected of us, so that gives us an edge over the others. So I joined um, the integrated course for the first and second PU, so the first PU I joined. I joined CFL at 7th standard and that has helped me very much in building my foundation and preparing me for other Olympiads and other competitive examinations. I joined CFL in 8th standard, uh, the foundation batch. So I heard a lot of reviews about CFL and that's what made me come here. And I think CFL has really helped me achieve my goals and even I could secure a lot of ranks and other stuff thanks to CFL. CFL definitely played a huge part, a key role in uh, shaping me to who I became uh, right now because CFL helped me discover new things like it helped me broaden my interest in say physics before um cfl i definitely thought that physics was maybe a tame a mild subject but after coming to cfl i was able to discover vast new areas of physics it made me think creatively about what i can do for a problem rather than what i should do in a problem so creatively it has helped me a lot Yes, I prepared for NEET from CFL. I think CFL really did help me. Uh, majority is the push towards mock and the deliberate practice that CFL gave me. I think that really helped me achieve. Yeah, I've taken part in Olympiads and uh, KVPY and many other competitive exams including JE and the usual stuff. So, uh, yeah, it has been a, a quite a good experience and uh, the journey of two years was very fruitful. I didn't focus on Olympiads but I did focus on concepts, so I guess that's that's what helped, yeah. With regards to say Olympiad or JE, the most prestigious exams here in uh, India, for these exams, it's just a part of what you're learning here at CFA. If you ha if uh, once you develop a deep understanding of what you're studying, what you're um, thinking about, Olympiads will just be another step in uh, applying what you know. So it's not more of like you're preparing a, a, um, specifically for this exam. Or that exam it's just all part of the process and you're, you you probably write both exams because you gain so much interest interest in the stuff that you love that these exams will be another step in uh, your process of and your journey daily at least three to four hours you have to study uh, is it it's okay if you study less but you have to study daily uh, and every subject every day my study pattern, I would say it was different from day to day, but I did give it a shot every day. NCRT and just the basic concepts over and over again, just practicing. I used to study for a few hours every day, um, but like I managed to do it consistently and that has helped me do quite well. Um, I used to give equal importance to mock tests and practice. So if I used to practice for some 
time and then I have to go and test that knowledge with the mock test which used to really help me uh, giving the more and more revision to the topics I had and I used to give equal importance to my weak spots and uh, strong spots so that I could improve. Giving the mock test will really help you not only like uh, test yourself, test your ability, test your speed, but also help you, you know, calm your nerves, help you like decide how, okay, hey, this is, this is, even though this is a mock test, I should think of this as the final exam, right? The exam that decides uh, the future, right? So writing these mock tests really can help you calm your nerves so that when the final exam actually does come, you won't be stressed or you won't be worried, but you'll be like, hey, I'm going to do my best today. I would say never give up. Just do your best every day, even if it's a little, just do your best. The one piece of advice I would like to give to my juniors is that uh, be consistent in your work and do not uh, waste time in social media or other platforms because the temporary joy is much less than the joy you get after being successful in your life. You should never feel disheartened. Uh, whatever the results of your mock exams be, um, just go forward with it and uh, work harder and just never get disappointed in yourself. Never give up, never lose motivation. Motivation is probably the key thing that will help keep your interest in subjects. Some subjects you may not like, some subjects you may like more, some subjects you may like less. But as long as you have the motivation, as long as you're around with your friends, discussing stuff, discussing about problems, discussing about different subjects, you'll definitely feel like, okay, hey, look, my friends are doing this stuff. Maybe I should do it too. Maybe I should try and put a little bit more effort. And with that motivation, with the help of your friends, maybe your, the teachers, the staff too, you'll definitely feel like, okay, I can keep going and keep going on my journey towards the goal. I think if I would tell juniors, if, if you're going towards NEAT, then I think you should be thorough with NCRT. NCRT is going to uh, secure 90, uh, around the 90% questions is going to be from NCRT. If you're going to see biology, majority is going to be from NCRT. So if you're going to prepare only for NEAT oriented, I think NCRT is more than enough. But if you want to uh, have that 100% this thing, then you can study something extra. And I think CFL has that already in it.